Embracing Our Culture Coast to Coast is presented by Universal Companies and sponsored by Philadelphia Energy Solutions, Pico, Comcast, and Always Best Care. I am Mark Bamuti Joseph. This is a special edition of Embracing Our Culture Coast to Coast. Welcome to the Bay. This is Stephanie Renee, and we are here on the set at the Yerba Buena Center for the Arts with my good buddy who is a uh, full of all of this wonderment that the, the, the center uh, brings about, but also in your own career, Mark Ramuthi Joseph, and your title is director of... I'm the director of performing arts here. Yes. Yeah. And so with, with that in mind, let, let's just start with Yerba Buena and your role here, and then we'll talk about some of your projects you got going on. Ooh, uh, well, Yerba Buena Center um, is a 20-year-old uh, interdisciplinary contemporary arts center uh, here in the heart of the cultural district in San Francisco. Um, we have 30,000 square feet of um, exhibition space. We have a full uh, film and video series um, presenting international film from Japan, from the Philippines, from throughout the African continent. Um, and we um, present more than 60 different performing arts events. Um, over the course of every year. Um, this space is a 7,000 square foot flex space and we have an 800 seat theater right next door that presents um, work ranging from Rennie Harris to Bill T. Jones to Akram Khan to um, on and on and on. So um, yeah, and it's the pr uh, performing arts program that um, I'm quite fortunate to um, curate and um, envision. Um, here, so my gig is to um, bring the best of contemporary performance to the Bay Area. That just makes me excited, and I don't even live here. <laughs> so the last time that we spoke at length, mm -hmm. you were in my neck of the woods in Probably. Philadelphia, presenting uh, your piece, our RBG, a blues for the French Festival. Yes, yeah. And now. Uh, you have some really talented young people along with the Philadelphia Opera Company yes. working on a new piece. So please yeah. explain for our audience what cool. that's all about. Uh, well, the piece is called We Shall Not Be Moved. Um, and um, there's still a month before I can officially, okay. officially announce what the piece is about. Um, I will drop a major hint and just say that um, it um, is inspired by an iconic moment that happened in West Philadelphia in 1985. Yes. Yeah. You know, for um, the informed or the listening, it's um, easy to derive from there. Um, and yeah, the composer of the opera is um, a classical violinist named Daniel Bernard Romain, who, like myself, is first generation American and also born of Haitian parentage. Um, the, um, the Opera Philadelphia came or partnered with Art Sanctuary in Philly to work with um, four different high schools throughout um, the Philadelphia public school system to um, get the young people to create poetry um, on um, a variety of topics. And um, then they gave me the three or four hundred pages of poetry and they say, get inspired and write as an opera. Right. Um, so the so the opera, um, you know, really kind of emanates from um, what was and was not present in the poetry. It's as much about why kids um, choose to stay in school as it is about why they would choose to leave school and learn from alternate sources. Um, and in this case, um, the heroes of our opera. Um, decide to learn in the ashes of an iconic um, home, which was burned down, mm -hmm. hint number two. <laughs> and um, they learn from the ghosts um, that lived in this home. And um, yeah, it's pretty powerful. We had our first um, reading um, a couple of months ago, and then followed that up with a, a preview performance at the Edinburgh not so long ago. And uh, it'll premiere in November 2015. So we're excited about that and to connect with the city of Philadelphia in that way. Here stands a family in spring, united awaiting its fall. Here they stand, come here I call. Here the children left behind, playing slave revolt on borrowed time. Boss calls me yesterday. He's calling in a favor, he say, 
Something's been brewing since 85. The block's been stewing since the last time. Stood a family in spring, united awaiting its fall. Here they stood. Um, but I also have to tell you that um, that through my work with Youth Speaks, um, we are bringing the Brave New Voices International Youth Poetry Festival to Philly. Yes. Uh, so I'll be back in July for you know for that. That's We're, a big big yeah, deal. So we, we've got to come hang out with you yeah, for that. Absolutely. Because you got to come to Hoodstock, which yes. is you know which is the Life is Living principle in Philadelphia. Life is Living is what inspired Red, Black, and Green. Uh, Black Thought of the Roots is uh, going to be our headliner for that. So. Uh, yeah, you gotta check that out. Yeah. So, you know, it, it's just because this whole trip for mm -hmm. our station is about showing the parallels between what we're living and doing mm -hmm. every day in Philadelphia mm -hmm. and what's going on here in Oakland and San Francisco. Mm -hmm. And so, to know that you are here, but you're still bringing so much of your artistry to Philadelphia and allowing us to experience it right in our backyard yeah. is amazing and wonderful. Yeah. And, you know, there are people who will hear everything that you just described mm -hmm. and maybe struggle to find language to describe you. How do you describe what you do? Oh man, um, I am a father, I'm a husband, I'm an educator, I'm a uh, first generation American, and uh, you know, I manifest um, my family lineage through um, the written word, the living word, the living body and through curation which is like not the easy thing to say you know on a first date or like when I meet somebody you know on the airplanes like what you do is, you know it's like you know any other hustler in the tradition I do a lot of things move Makai move mountains to climb skies to fly seas to seas Seeds to roots, to branches, to leaves, the deepest part of God's imagined possibilities, billowing like a willowing wind, all one, all man must move. My son is now five. Three months before he was born, my grandfather died three times in one night. My grandfather flatlined and revived. He slipped into a coma twice. The last time he came back bragging about this man child that he just met in the after death, after which his word became flesh, became sacred text. The next testament, my first breath, my firstborn, a boy. Man, he looked just like my granddad. And they recently met inside of a revelation while granddad was doing orbital revolutions around his own life. Third time he was confronted at a crossroads by my son, Makai, of blood and bone and sacrifice, sanctified. My granddad said, I cannot wait for you to meet your son. And for the first time, I really understood where the old man was coming from. I believe in him. I must. There's a race to be run and our folks are losing. Past is prologue. Our epicenter is an ancestor's epilogue, an epithet. If we ain't eased that ancestor's burden yet, he used his great-grandfather's death as a scroll to scribe a new scripture, whisk the man back to life with unborn whisper, son. Do you know who you are? An ascendant, descendant, deciphered from stars. Intone the indescribable like a shadow, my son. We are men, bury nothing but bones, cry rivers of tears. Deeply we run, a race to be won, a race to be won, guided like Harriet with visions of sugar plum skinned, hung thin, strange fruits, our roots reach deep, we men, our men, our men, I mean, your dean, your duty, your destiny to shadow the... T t t t t t I 
ascending, descending, deciphered, intone, intone the indescribable like a shadow. My son, I know you must move because of the way you move me. I know you must move because of the way you move me. I know you must move because of the way you move. I exercise my creative intellect, hopefully for the good of us all. Yeah, and to expand our hearts and our minds, and that's why we're so thankful that we got a chance to come in your house. Right on, right and, on, right uh, on. And get a chance to talk to you and hear from you today. Thank yeah. you so much. Welcome to the city. Yeah, I'm glad you're here. Embracing Our Culture Coast to Coast is presented by Universal Companies and sponsored by Philadelphia Energy Solutions, Pico, Comcast, and Always Best Care.